Yeah, the center, center is minus A minus B, minus A minus B, and the radius root over of A square minus B square. It's so easy. So the equation of the circle is what? Equation. Yes, equation of the circle. Always write the formula first because once you write the formula, you will remember the formula or else. So x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to r square. So here the center is what? So center is minus a minus b. So basically h is equal to minus a and k is equal to minus b and r is equal to root over of a square minus b square. If you have difficulties, try to write like this. So in place of h, I will write minus a. So x minus minus a whole square plus y minus minus b whole square is equal to root over of a square minus b square whole square. So what we have? x plus a whole square plus y plus b whole square is equal to square root and square goes away. We have a square minus b square. So this is how we find equation of the circle. Yeah, that is it. We have to leave it like this. We don't have to simply solve anything anymore. Now question number uh, six. That's the most. Now the important questions will start from here. So question number six is quite easy. So can anybody tell me what is the value? So here question number six says you have to find the center and radius. Can anybody tell me what is the center in here? Okay, somebody said 5 minus 3. Minus 5 comma? This one is wrong. This one is right. Minus 5 comma 3 is the right answer. Guys, look at here. Again, I am telling you. What is the general equation of the circle? The general equation of the circle is x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to r square, right? Okay, don't jump into answers. First you think and write it. Now look at here, h is what? h is equal to what? h is equal to minus 5. It's minus 5. Look at here. It's not 5, it's minus 5. Acha, fine. Even if you have a difficulty in writing this thing, do one thing right here. Minus h is equal to 5. Okay, you put minus h is equal to 5. This entire thing, minus h is equal to 5. So, h becomes what? Minus 5. Understood? Clear? Now here, what do you have? You just write, you write minus k is equal to, minus k is equal to minus 3. So, k is equal to what? 3. Simple as that. If you have difficulties, do like this. Take minus h and minus k. Then you can, then it will be far easier. So, now r square is what? R square is 36. So R will be 6. Look, basically we learned that when R square is 36, the value will be plus minus, plus minus, 30, uh, plus minus 6. But we cannot use minus because radius is a length. Uh, length can never be negative. So the value will always be plus 6. Achha. Uh, let's do question number 7. Question number 7. So it is x square plus y square minus 4x minus 8y minus 45 is equal to 0. So can anybody tell me how can I find the center of this one? Achha, what, what should I do in here? Who can tell me what should I do in here? What should I do in here? So the main thing I need to do is I need to write it in the form of the equation of circle. What is the form? It is x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to r square. This is the general form. Why? Because using the general form, we can easily say the center is h comma k and radius is r. Right? But this equation in here, it's not written like this. So what I have to do is, I have to write it like this. So I see here x square. So I have x square. Then I have minus 4x. So can anybody tell me what should I write after this? Look at here. It is x minus h whole square, right? No. Wait, yes, it's right, but we have to do something. Look, 
एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस टू इंटू एक्स इंटू वॉट बिकम्स माइनस फोर एक्स टू इंटू एक्स इंटू वॉट बिकम्स माइनस फोर एक्स ये इट्स टू राइट आई हैव टू गेट दिस वन ए माइनस बी होल स्क्वायर फॉर्मूला थिंक ऑफ दैट ए माइनस बी होल स्क्वायर फॉर्मूला आई नीड टू राइट एक्स माइनस एच होल स्क्वायर राइट बट हियर वी हैव एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फोर एक्स सो आई नीड टू फॉर्म दैट ए स्क्वायर माइनस ए माइनस बी होल स्क्वायर सो एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस टू इंटू एक्स इंटू बी ए एक्स इंटू टू सो बेसिकली वी हैव वॉट टू इंटू ए इंटू बी सो नाउ वी हैव टू हैव बी स्क्वायर सो आई विल राइट प्लस टू स्क्वायर एवरीबडी एग्री और नॉट येस और नो सो आई विल राइट हियर प्लस टू स्क्वायर नाउ ऑब्वियसली दिस टू स्क्वायर हैव एन फॉल फ्रॉम द स्काई राइट सो जस्ट बिकॉज आई हैव इंट्रोड्यूस टू स्क्वायर आई विल do minus 2 square such that they get cancelled and my job is over i hope why it's minus 2 square everybody clear yes or no why have i written minus 2 square is it clear now next part now i will write plus y square then 8y is there now 8y i can write this one as 2 into y that is 2 into a And b will be what four? That becomes eight y. So now b square plus b square will be what four square? Then again this four square haven't fall from the sky. So we have to do minus four square. And after that, what should I write? Minus forty five equal to zero. Everybody understood? Yes or no? Am I clear? Now you see here these three things. They make what x minus two whole square. They give us x minus two whole square, and this minus four I will take it other side. Now this gives us what? This gives us what? Y minus four whole square, and then you write here minus four, minus sixteen, minus forty five is equal to zero. Okay, clear. So that is what we get. So I'm going to write here. so it becomes x minus x minus 2 whole square plus y minus 4 whole square and this one is coming out to be minus 20 and that's minus 65 so take that side it becomes plus 65 can anybody tell me what is the center center is what yes center is 2 comma 4 because if we compare this one uh, With that one, x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square. You see the value of a h and k is two and four. And what is the radius? Radius is what? What is the radius? R square is equal to sixty five. So r is equal to square root of sixty five. Simple as that. Okay. Acha question number eight will be homework. Question number. Let's do question number nine. Question number nine. So what we have in question number nine? So it is given by two uh, x square plus two y square minus x is equal to zero. So here we have. It has two x square, so two is multiplied with x square. But if I see that two x square will be a problem, so what I will do is I will divide both sides by two. I will remove this two. So how do I remove? I will divide both sides by two. So dividing both sides by two. So if I divide both sides by two, what do I get? I get x square plus y square minus x by two. Is equal to zero. This is what we get. So now let us simplify that. So we have x square minus again Sharon. I think I'm getting. Okay, now x square minus two into look at your two into a. It will be what x. Now tell me who who can tell me what will be my b in here. My b will be what? My b will be what? 
2 into AB, right? 2AB. We have to form 2AB. So B will be what? Pass. Yes, it will be 1 by 4. He, somebody said Y. B will be Y. How can it be Y? Y is another. We have to get X minus H whole square plus Y minus K whole square is equal to R square. Y is a different square root. It, it is in the different square. So forget about Y. When you are thinking about x, it will be all about x. So here we have 1 by 4. Why 1 by 4? Because if you just cut this one, it becomes x by 2. And that is what we have. x by 2 in here. Then plus, plus will be what? Plus 1 by 4 whole square. Then what we have? Minus 1 by 4. Yes, since I have plus, I have to do minus. And then what do we have? Then what remains? Plus y square. So I will write plus y square is equal to 0. Okay. So let's see what do we get. Let's see what do we get. After this, we have. Okay, now tell me guys, what will I write next step? What will I write next step first? x square. Why should I write x square? x yes very good x x minus 1 by 4 whole square then after that what should I write after that y square plus y square is equal to this minus 1 by 4 whole square I will take that side so it becomes 1 by 4 whole square so what is my center guys what is my center One by four. One by four comma zero. Look at here. Y square is all alone. So y square all alone means what? It is y minus zero whole square. So my k value is zero, and h value is one by four. So one by four comma zero. And radius is equal to. Radius is equal to. Yes, it's not one by sixteen. It's 1 by 4 because 1 by 4 whole square is equal to R square. So square square goes away. So R is equal to 1 by 4. That's your answer. Okay. So this one is done. Uh, these are quite easy. So there were no problems. So now let's do question number 10. Now the difficult questions start. So the Raja, one thing, your offline class, when is starting? Offline classes? Your Raja only sir was taking, right? And you had only one uh, class of mathematics. Achha, let's do question number 10 because I need equation of lines in here. So it says what? Find the equation of a circle passing through the points 4, 1 and 6, 5 and whose center is on the line 4x plus y is equal to 16. So it says what? So it says that there is a circle passing through the points. So there is a circle. So I have a circle. It passes through two points. The points are 4 comma 1. This one is 4 comma 1 and 6 comma 5. So the circle passes through this point 4 comma 1 and 6 comma 5. And then another thing it says that, that the center of the circle lies on the line 4x plus y is equal to 16. So the center of the circle lies on the line. So this is a line. So the center lies on the line. Uh, the equation of the uh, line is 4x plus y is equal to 16. Everybody clear? What I have done in here, everybody clear? Yes or no? So the first thing what I will start with, I will write here, let the center of the circle be h, h, h comma k. Let the center of the circle b h comma k the first thing i will write this thing so we have here h comma k now you see here this h comma k this point lies on this line what does it mean what does it mean that h comma k lie on this line what does it mean it means that this h comma k will satisfy the equation of the line yes or no 
yes or no h comma k so and what does it mean satisfy the equation of the line it means that in place of x you put h and in place of y you put k the equation will be valid so 4h plus k is equal to 16 this is one equation you will get so write down since h comma k lies on the line since h comma k lies on the line 4x plus y is equal to 16 so what you can say so 4h plus k is equal to 16 this is the first equation i got this is the first equation i got now it says that the circle i said let me write another thing we have to write another thing uh, here we'll write let the radius let the radius of the circle be r let the radius of the circle be r now listen very carefully the general equation of the circle is what the general equation of the circle is what come on guys tell me what is the general equation of the circle whose center is h comma k and radius is r what is the general equation 4h plus i am asking general equation of the circle when center is h comma k and radius is r what is the general equation of the circle it is x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to r square when I am asking about general equation of the circle, this is the general equation of the circle. Okay, clear? Then I am saying, now I say that these points 6, 5 and 4, 1, they lie on the circle, right? And once I say that there are points which lie on the circle, it means what? Same as this one. Since h, k lie on this line, so h, k satisfied the equation of the line. So since 4 comma 1 lie on the circle, so 4 comma 1 will satisfy the equation of the circle. Are you getting it? So write down, since 4 comma 1 lie on the circle, so in place of h, uh, in place of x and y, put 4, 4 and 1. Look at here, you see, this x was what? A general point. So general point was what? Any point on this line. So this general point, there is one general point that is 4 comma 1. So in place of 4x, you can write 4. So 4 minus h whole square plus in place of y, you can write 1. 1 minus 1 minus k whole square is equal to r square. Okay. Now find, the, uh, find this one simplify this one so you get 4 square that is 16 uh, minus 8h plus h square then plus 1 minus 2k plus k square is equal to r square so this is my actually let us simplify further so we have in here everything is becoming minus so minus 8h minus 2k Achha, we, we have squares in here so let me write it nicely h square plus k square minus 8h minus 2k plus 17 is equal to r square let's leave it like this so this is my equation number two okay now the next one the next equation will be what you write here since 6 comma 5 lie on the circle since 6 comma 5 lie on the circle, so uh, 6 minus h whole square plus 5 minus k whole square is equal to r square. So let's find this one also. So 6 square is 36. Then we have minus 12 h plus h square plus 25 minus 10 k uh, plus k square is equal to r square. This is my equation number 3. Now what we are going to do is let us simplify this one further so we have h square actually let's not write this one as 3 the simplified form will write as 3 so h square plus k square minus 12 h minus 10 k 
36 and 25 that gives us our uh, plus 61 is equal to r square so this is my equation number 3 can anybody tell me what will be my next step what will be my next step huh my next step will be what you get two equations equation number 2 and equation number 3 right let's subtract equation 3 what was what i will subtract equation 1 back so look at here. Yeah, yeah. Dividing both sides by minus four. Dividing both sides by minus four. Look at here. Minus four h minus eight k plus forty four is equal to zero. So if I do both sides by minus four, so minus four by minus four, it becomes h minus eight by minus four, it becomes plus two k, and uh, forty four by minus four, it becomes minus eleven is equal to zero. Yes or no? And that minus 11 goes that side becomes plus 11. So, uh, first let me just explain this one. So, equation what 2 is this one. And equation 3 is this one. This is what we have got. And then by doing subtraction, that finding the difference of these two equations, I have done it in here. So, you will get h minus 2k is equal to 11. Now, from equation 1, our equation 1 was what? 4h plus k is equal to 16. Yes? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, yes, I'm sorry. H plus 2K is equal to 11. So now what I will do is, now we'll write here, now we'll find the difference of equation 1 and equation 2. So my next step will be, now, I shall write, write this one as equation number 4. So now equation, equation 1 minus 4 gives us what? So here I will write 4H plus K is equal to 16. So h plus 2k is equal to 11. So let us find the difference. How much is... Oi, what am I doing? Am I getting crazy or what? We have to do method of elimination. We have to remove one thing. I'm getting crazy. So forget it, forget it. Don't, don't do this one. Okay, clear? Yes, yes. We have to multiply with something. So what you see in here is uh, the, my one equation I have 4h plus k is equal to 16 and the other equation is h plus 2k is equal to 11. So I have to do method of elimination. So what I will do is I will multiply the first equation with 2. If I multiply equation 1 with 2 then it will become easy. So I will just multiply this equation with 2. So what do I get? 8h plus 2k is equal to 32. Is equal to 32 right? So now let's subtract. Now, now let's subtract this one. So minus, minus, minus. So what do you get? So this one is minus 7h. And this one goes out. And this one we have 32 minus 11. That becomes minus 21. Everyone yes or no? I know it's getting complicated again and again. But it's very, it's very, very easy. It's just about one step and the other. It's all about solving the equations so what we have in here the next stage what we do is so minus 7h is equal to minus 21 so here we get h value is 3 so the value of h is 3 now we'll put the value of h in equation 4 or 1 in any of the equation you put so you write here from equation uh, what should I write 4 let's put in 4 so the equation of 4 is what h plus 2k is equal to 11 so h is 3. If I put here 3 plus 2k is equal to 11. Hmm? So k is equal to 4. Yeah, that's right. Very good. So k is equal to 4. So guys, can you tell me what is the center? What is the center? Quad uh, minus 3. From where you got minus 3? It is 3 comma 4. The value is 3, right? From where you got minus 3? And what is the radius? Let's see. Now this is the difficult bit. What is the radius? The center I got 3 comma 4. How to find the radius? How can you find the radius? Let's see. Who can tell me? How can I find the radius? Pass. 
yeah, how come it will be pass? Achha, I will just draw the diagram and then you tell me. I will not tell you, but I will just draw. So I, we had a circle. The circle has a center 3 comma 4. And the circle is passing through two points. One is 4 comma 1 and the other one was 6 comma 5, right? Now can you tell me what is the center, what is the radius? Guys, use your brain. How to find the radius? Pass. Still pass. Huh? Think, think, think. Maybe somebody is saying, but I can't hear. So what I do is, I have the center. All we have to find the distance between these two points. I don't know, Amarjit, I cannot hear your voice. Maybe you are saying something, but I can't hear you. So all you have to find is the distance between these two points, 4, 1 and 3, 4. So we can find the radius. So radius will be root over 3 minus 4 whole square. 3 minus 4 whole square plus 4 minus 1 whole square. So it becomes 3 minus 4 whole square. It is minus 1 and minus 1 whole square is 1 plus 4 minus 1 whole square. That is 3. 3 square is 9. So we get square root of 10. Everyone understood? Achha, uh, question number 11 will also be home. Uh, it will be homework. Because question number 11 is same, is same as question number 10. Okay, clear? And what I will do is, I will try to, I will try to make a video of all the remaining uh, questions. So, and I will, even I will try to do ellipse also. I will try to finish ellipse also. So that will finish this chapter and the next class maybe, we are going to start 3D geometry and that will be also be easy. So that's it for today. So thank you everyone. Bye.